everybody it's me again Arlene delicious delights welcome to my channel so today I want to talk about a fragrance that's been recommended by a few of you out there in the comments maybe like three or four times by three or four different people um, that people said oh my gosh you should try this you would love it and uh, I'm like okay <laughs> I will try it so I've had this sample lying around in my sample stash for like a long time <laughs> um, it's just been sitting like stashed away and I forget about it but um, anyways it has been requested that I try this so I'll give it a try I have tried it one time and yeah I just want to give you guys like my quick thoughts on it so Roberto Cavalli Eau de Parfum I'm not like uh, very familiar with a lot of their perfumes or I think I've only tried one maybe it was the gold one well there's a gourmand fragrance from this house that um, I thought was pretty nice so Roberto Cavalli Eau de Parfum is um, what I'll be testing today here's the bottle I I'm uncertain if I think this bottle is like really nice and beautiful or like super tacky I'm not sure about the top part I just, I just imagine it to be like a cheap plastic I'm not sure <laughs> I don't know yet what do you guys think of this bottle is it nice or not <laughs> anyways uh, just the the right up in here an ambery floral fragrance addictive sensual and radiant so let me just uh, spray it on here okay so when I did try this the one time uh, it was on my skin and my first thoughts was I think it's a nice fragrance <laughs> I've been having a lot of luck lately with testing um, perfumes yeah it's a nice fragrance you guys so what I'm getting here is a very warm mostly orange blossom vanilla perfume the orange blossom in here is sweet but it's not like a candy like sweet like in say for example love don't be shy by Killian that was like a really thick and rich candy um, overload of orange blossom candy type thing or a syrup this one is sweet it also has a thickness to it so it is a little bit um, syrupy I think there's benzoin in here but it doesn't come off as like cloying or too sweet or too juvenile or youthful it's kind of like for me the opposite this one for me comes off as more of a mature uh, sweetness of orange blossom and it's gorgeous the bo the sorry <laughs> the orange blossom here is definitely the star of the show what else do I get here sweet vanilla thickness syrupiness almost like a not overly sweet orange blossom syrup or even like a maple syrup and like drizzling that over yourself it's quite warm and cozy and it's great I think this is also an inexpensive perfume if I remember correctly I think I saw this on an online discount for not too expensive I can't remember how much but maybe like between 20 and 30 euros for this yeah, and this was also just a really nice surprise. I liked it a lot. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite orange blossom scent of all time. I think, oh, I did make a video on my favorite orange blossom scents, but maybe just for like an affordable, classy, elegant, cheapy but smells expensive kind of perfume. I think it's great I really do I get like a muskiness in here too but oh, my nose is itchy okay but the muskiness in here is it just adds good things to it <laughs> a lot of times especially with modern perfumery with the women's perfume muskiness can be chemical smelling or metallic or abrasive or harsh or just cheap smelling in here no this is very smooth syrupy delicious and just really warm ambery and sweet 
it's lovely. I really do like it. So let me just pull up the notes here on my phone for those of you who are interested in hearing about uh, the notes of it. This was released in 2012. Top note is pink pepper. I don't really get a spicy or pink pepper in here. Middle note is the African orange flower. And in the base, there's benzoin, tonka, and vanilla. So no musk listed. But when I tried it on my skin, I got this like warm, sweet musk, which was really nice. And yeah, it's great. It's really, really, really nice. <laughs> so yeah, I like this one. Thumbs up based on this first impressions. I would love to hear what you guys think about this perfume if you've tried it. Um, thank you to the viewers who suggested this to me. You guys are awesome. I love discovering new perfumes, especially if you guys recommend it. And most of the time, it, uh, it's like good recommendations. <laughs> so that was my quick video on Roberto Cavalli Eau de Parfum. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.